guys, it's Gina here. It's been a minute since I made a video, so I wanted to come and share a video with y'all of what I'm working on today. So, if you've checked out Heat Transfer Source lately, they are now offering sublimation blanks. Very cool, very exciting. So they've been doing sublimation transfers for a while, which if you don't know, the sublimation transfer is what you can apply to a shirt. It's actually one of Heat Transfer Source's sublimation um, transfer sheets. So you basically get this sheet, they'll send instructions of how to heat press it, iron it, whatever, and you just apply it. So the lovely thing about sublimation is it blends right into with the fabric. Um, you're sublimating it right into there. And I've been enjoying doing sublimation. So I was super excited when Heat Transfer Source decided to bring on blanks. I ordered a couple things like some bags and then I ordered a towel. So that's what I'm going to sublimate with you guys today. This nice towel, very thick. So I'm super excited to see how that sublimates. Um, it does come with a backing. They send a backing with it that you can apply after actually pressing it as well as the string to hang it. So we're going to go ahead and get right into pressing. I already have printed my transfer. So with sublimation, you are printing um, from a printer and it's a special type of ink, not like your regular inkjet. So transfer source is really good about sending instructions or temperatures and things like that for when you purchase their material. Me, I have played with my heat press, so my temperature is going to be 365, and it's set for 60 seconds. However, I don't necessarily actually press that long on some things. So the first thing I would do is go ahead and line my up. And so I will gauge how long I press it once I actually get started. So that is something that you can play around with. I do highly recommend following the guidelines from Heat Transfer Source. For 300 more craft tutorials, please subscribe to our YouTube channel and remember to hit that bell. So what I'm doing now is applying some good old heat transfer tape just to keep my design in place so that there's no ghosting or anything. And then I'm going to sit that right in there. I have a heat press. And so if you don't have a heat press, you can use um, the smaller heat press with the Cricut line, or you can use an iron. So heat transfer source will send instructions for all of that. So we're going to go ahead and press real quick. So we're all done pressing, so I'm going to slowly peel it up. Cool, you guys, I like that. I am liking how that came out. So if you have done any type of sublimation, everything, well, anything that comes off the heat press is hot. But your sublimation items are going to be extra, extra hot. So I got these nice heat gloves. And I'm going to apply so that y'all can see the final look. And there we have it. I am going to share my um, designing guidelines. I actually have a Silhouette Cameo 4, so I'm going to include just kind of a brief walkthrough of how to do the printing part since I already had it printed. But this is the finished product, you guys. Look at that. I love it. So here's just my quick rundown of the video. Like I said, I already had it printed. Um, so I use the Silhouette programming. I actually have the business edition because I have a silhouette cameo the original de um, design as well as a cameo for when you are doing something in silhouette it, you do have to adjust your coloring and for the size i just went to letter size my printer can print three different sizes so the letter size is the eight and a half by eleven so i just use that and i did my design i measured the tile and so for mine i just turned it sideways because that fit on that size. And then all you're gonna do is go over to file and you're gonna click file and then you click your print. I always do a print page setup just to make sure my direction of my paper, everything is going the right way that nothing's changed. So when you print, Silhouette is going to do this lovely screen here. You're gonna hit print and then you're going to go to your setting, whatever your um, setting is. 
So when you add a sublimation printer, you will set up your printer. So if you scroll this way, you can see my HP, my desktop, which is my inkjet printer. And if you scroll this way, you can see my sublimation printer. And then you just hit OK. And then you'll apply it if you're changing your paper size. And then you hit print. And it's that simple. If you get a chance, check out Heat Transfer Source's website and check out their blanks and their um, sublimation transfers. If it's something new that you want to try, but you're not necessarily wanting to jump gun ho in and buy a printer and all of that, definitely test out their sublimation um, prints. That is what I started with. I would just order the prints that I wanted, and they have a lot of different prints to offer. Um, they tend to update them too based off of the holidays and the seasons changing. Thanks for joining me. Bye.